Hello everyone, welcome to day 4th of January Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. Also, I published a video yesterday that's a thanksgiving video to all the subscribers of the channel. I hope you would have seen this video by now. If not, immediately go skip this video and go to that video because that video is for you guys. Now let's get back to today's question. Today's question is complement of base 10 integer lead code 1009. In this question, we are given an integer n and we need to identify its complement integer. Even before getting into the details of this question, let me just ask you a very simple question. What is 2 plus 2? 2 plus 2 is 4. Let me ask you another question. What is 1 plus 3? 1 plus 3 is also 4. So if someone asks you either of these two questions, the solution remains the same. Similar is the case with today's problem. This, this is a problem that we have already solved in the last week of December 2021. It's just two weeks back. And the problem was number complement. We solved number complement question on 27th January 2021, just two weeks back. I hope you guys remember the same question because I genuinely do. Uh, for those who are new, let's try to draw similarities between the two problems. Complement of base 10 integer and number complement. Here the question says we are given an integer n and we need to represent it in binary format. We need to take its complement. One bit is set bit is toggle to zero and unset bit is toggle to set bit that is one. We need to generate the complement binary representation and whatever number turns out to be out of this binary representation, we need to return it. That is called as the complement of the input integer n. And if you go and read this question, number complement, it's exactly same. The wordings are also same. However, there is small difference between the two questions. And the difference is in the constraints. The range starts from 1 up till 2 raised to bar 31. While here, the range starts from 0 up till 10 raised to bar 9. The upper limit doesn't make any difference. The solution works perfectly for the upper limit. However, we need to update it for the lower limit. So let's go to the GitHub repo and we solve that question using two approaches. If you are unaware or not looking for a detailed algorithm, please refer to that video. For those who have already done it, let's reutilize the same code. So uh, this is my first solution. Let's copy paste it over here. And let's write the check. If nums turns out to be zero, let's return one. And let's try and submit this up. Accepted. 100 times faster. Pretty awesome. Let's shoot for the next approach as well. And let's delete this part of the code. And let's try and submit this. The algorithm that we used here is bit manipulation. If you are looking for detailed algorithm on how to go about these two approaches that video is for you guys i'm attaching the link in the description below do check that out this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye